Hi, Dawn from Interact here. I just thought I'd take a moment to walk you through the quiz builder because even though we have spent years, and by we I mean Matt and the dev team, making um, our software as intuitive and easy to use as possible, I understand it can be like pretty intimidating to master new software, or at least it can be for me. So here we go. When you first sign in, you will see a little pop-up that asks you which industry you're in, and you can skip that if you want, or you can click it. It's great. And when you click that, what it will do is bring up the quiz templates that work best for your industry. If you don't see what you like, that's totally fine. I wholeheartedly recommend looking through all of the quiz templates. Uh, as of this day, there are, I believe, almost almost 150 conversion focused templates that um, us over at the team, uh, the Shanti Zach marketing team have been creating for you for the last two years. And I believe we're going to be working on one to 10 per week uh, moving forward. So if you don't see what you're looking for in your industry, look through the rest. You can definitely use what's there in any of them for inspiration and keep checking back um, because we will be adding new ones regularly. Having said that, I'm going to go to copywriting because that's what I do by trade. Um, but you know, sometimes I also do some life coaching for real. And um, sure, I'm a leader in a couple of communities, so I could look at all of these maybe to find the right lead gen quiz for me, you might play the same sort of game. If you're in e-commerce, you might want to look at like the jewelry as well as the skincare and the wellness just to see if something in there sparks your interest or is the exact one for you. Anyway, having said that, we'll go with copywriting and we will go with what's your email writing style? Oh, but perhaps before we do, I'll just click right here and you can see that that's how you get to our chat and also how you can search the help docs of which there are like thousands of them. Um, Jared or any of our other customer success managers will answer you super quickly if it's between nine to five Pacific time, Monday Monday to Friday. And um, like I ask Jared questions all the time. He is really happy to answer them. So please do not be afraid to ask questions if you have them. We are all here for you. I'm going to show and play with the email writing style. I love writing emails. Um, here's the deal. You can hit preview and just check out the quiz. It'll show you all of the questions and the results. Sorry if that speed scrolling made you seasick or I guess motion sick. If you want to use the template, you can click right here or you can click away from the screen and click right here. So that's going to load it in the builder, which is great. So here's the deal. You can change pretty much everything on here and it's really easy. We are in the cover. Oh, and I want to click right here because Usually, if I hadn't already turned that off, there will be tips. So we've got cover page tips, quiz title, cover image, description, branding and design, and the call to action. And these tips are actually written by Shanti Zach herself. You can go deep into them. You can make them go away. And we've got them for the cover. We've got them for questions. We've got them for results. So we are wholeheartedly here for you in whatever way you need. And again, you can make them disappear by quick clicking this light bulb. So let's go to the cover. You can click in here. You can change the font. You can change any of the words. Um, yeah. And if you want to change the image, you can go here and click replace image and I am sure. And so here's the deal. We have a partnership with Unsplash, Unsplash and Giphy or Jiffy, however you want to say that. So I'm just going to write happy person right here. That's going to bring up all sorts of stock images from Unsplash. These are totally in the Creative Commons, free for you to use. And then Giphy, you can play with whatever. We don't usually recommend for a cover image using a GIF, 
but definitely can be fun in the questions and also try it out. It's all about testing and seeing what works. If you'd rather upload from your own computer, of course you can do that as well. Just make sure that you have the right to use the photo that you have um, and we will find a happy person. This guy looks happy. Oh yeah. What kind of copywriter is, or what kind of email marketing copywriter is he? The happy kind. So we'll just throw that in here. What's your email writing style? Um, again, you can change anything you want here. You can change the words here, maybe make it more of a call to value than a call to action. And you can change the button, the progress bar, all of the colors up here. So with the questions, you can just like, move questions around however you like. If you want to add a new question, you do that right here. And I'll use one of the ones that's already here. Um, do, 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 do. I bet this one is a segmentation question. It is. So of course you can use any of the questions and tag people in your email marketing software on how they answer them. But there will usually be two to three questions in each of the quiz templates that is actually based on segmentation. And these are things that we think a copywriter might want to know about their list or a copywriting teacher might want to know about their list. So what best describes your business model? Again, just like the cover, you can change anything you want here, change the font, change the color. You can hide the question image if you want or show it. And you can actually use image answers if you want or text answers. We recommend using a bit of both to keep things interesting and fun for people. And then when you want to um, make sure it correlates to the right result, you can click right here. Now, like I said, this is a segmentation question, so it doesn't have to actually correlate to any of these results. You could sell products and still be a story selling sensation or a playful poet or a, a friendly phenomenon phenom or a mysterious moonlighter. Um, if you wanted only the selling products to be go to the poet result, you could just do this. So this is how you do it. And this is how the builder works. Uh, we definitely recommend making sure that you don't like do this throughout like just make every single one of them correlate to the same because it's like when you're in school and you're taking a quiz and then you already know what the answers are right but if you don't care not don't care but don't need it to actually correlate to a result you can just untag or unattach all of these and then take it in your email marketing software. Um, and that way, you know that like, I don't know if you're selling a, selling something that helps people sell products or courses, you might send them different messaging than if they're a service provider. All right, so those are the questions. And like I said, you can add as many as you want here. You can click here to move them around and you can click here to remove them. Confirm. Let's get rid of this one. Remove. Confirm. Cool. And then here we have the results. So the templates have already been um, formatted to be really readable and um, look good. Currently, as of this date, which is like March 2022, somehow, um, we only have one call to action button at the bottom. But having said that, um, when you are in the builder, that may have shifted because I know that the dev team is working on creating more buttons. However, you can still get send people to places by linking directly in the results. So if you go here, you can go to your hyperlink, you can put your link text here. So that's what I wanted to say. Um, let's say they're just going to go back to the interact software. And I just want to show you this, you try and save it and it'll be like, no, it needs an HTTPS. So just make sure that you're putting the actual address in just like that. Well, no, uh, not just like that, but like that and hit save. And then when someone gets this result, it'll actually go there. We like to recommend that people underline as well because 
that's just a little bit more obviously a link then. I uh, like to bold some cross heads, maybe make them a little bit bigger. You can do that by just going right in here and hitting <clears throat> H1, H2, H3, or H4. You can make bullets like this and add paragraphs like that. So intuitive, but not necessarily that easy to find till you find it. So if we go right here, change it to H3, change it to H2, H1. So all sorts of different ways that you can do it. And that's how you can like, you know, make things bigger and more visible, just like lots of different builders, uh, you know, like web builders, etc. Right here, we have our bio. How cute do you copy? Um, this is not a real person. This is a stock photo from Unsplash, and this is a pretend bio. So we recommend that you put a little short bio in your quiz because it's going to actually like help people recognize you when you show up in their inboxes, if they know who you are and if they've seen your face. And we recommend making sure that your bio relates to the transformation you are going to offer them or the transformation that your quiz itself offers. Um, right here we have like, we love to give just like more value, as much value as possible on uh, Team Shanti Zach because what we're looking to do with these quiz, quiz templates is like nurture people and create conversions. So the first conversion, of course, is getting people to take the quiz and then finish it and give you their email address. But after that, we want them to feel nurtured and warmed up to you so that first when they see you in the in your in their inbox, they know who they who you are, what you do, and what you're gonna do for them. Um, I've got a little uh, swipe, a little three three email post quiz welcome sequence swipe file for you in the quiz collective. So if you're not there already, get in there, check it out. It's pinned in the copywriting channel, but I'm not here uh, to push you over there right now. Just wanted to let you know it's there. Anyway, we like to give little tips that uh, relate to the result they got that can help people um, like understand how awesome you are and how you can help them. And then from here, whatever your main call to action is, probably for this one, it'd be like, join my masterclass. Uh, join the masterclass. Yeah. And then another really important thing is make sure you publish your quiz. Every time you make a change, you have to publish it. Otherwise, it won't change in the real world. So the reason for that is that we want you to be able to change up your quiz and not have it affect anyone who's taking it. So that's why you have to hit publish again after you've changed it. From here, you've got this live link. So you can put this right here. There it is. People could take my quiz. Um, your embed, embed code is right here. So this is how you can get it on your website. Announcement bar, that's like what's going to put it at the top of your website. Pop-up, we all know what pop-ups are. You can choose how long it takes for it to come up. I would recommend oh, at least five seconds or something. If you want a Facebook ad, it will show you right here how to do it. And if you want to skip the cover page, you can start right on the first quiz question like that. Um, yeah. And then from here, you can keep adding quizzes. You can go create new quiz right here. And if you want to do it on your own without the templates after having checked them out and stuff, no problem. Start from scratch. Assessment. This quiz um, will give you the right answer if you use it. I mean, you have to put the answer in, but if you are if you put like a true or false quiz, a true or false question, and the person answers right or wrong, you can tell them correct and then give them the right answer. Great for teaching. Scored as well. Um, 
is like assessment, but it won't give them the answer. I'll be honest, I didn't mean to click there, but I don't want to re-record again. So I'm going to play again, create new quiz, start from scratch. And this is how you get to the personality quiz. And the personality quiz is just where um, instead of adding a number or uh, like a yes or true or false at the end of the answers, this would be one where you add the question. Let's add a couple of results. And then this question we can say like, um, oh boy, I, I, I'm not that good. So we'll just say, why are you here? And then the answer could be like, to build a quiz for my business or just for fun and then for the results we could have like you need a lead gen quiz and this one could be like you can make any kind of quiz you want i mean you can always make any kind of quiz but if you're trying to build your business, lead generation quiz is definitely going to help the most. So we go back to this, edit result correlations. I'm here to build a business for my quiz. You need, or build a quiz for my business. You need a lead gen quiz just for fun. You can make any kind of quiz you want just like that. So this uh, was slightly longer than I was planning, but I hope it helps. And you can always watch Loom videos on 2x time. Hope you all are having a beautiful day. Feel free to, like I said before, ask Jared anything you need. He'll get back to you so fast or hit us up in the Quiz Collective um, if you want help from, well, a Facebook ads expert, copywriting expert, our coaches. We have a brand and design expert and we have tech, tech, tech experts to help you connect your quiz to your CRM. Uh, I hope you're all having a beautiful day and um, yeah, come into the Quiz Collective and tag me and say hi.